Ladies and gentlemen, I will be completely honest. I was so excited about Deadman Mode, I forgot to make an intro. So it is now 2 a.m. in the morning, we are editing the episode and we realized there was no intro. So welcome to episode number one of our Deadman Mode series. Apologize for my lack of volume in my voice and enjoy this very exciting first episode. Ladies, gentlemen, everything is a little bit scuffed right now, but that's how the start of Deadman Mode always goes. So Runelight isn't working right now, and well, when it is, we actually cannot log in because all the worlds are full. But I did manage to log in to the official client, so now I'm just training Agility to 25 on the official client, waiting till they open more worlds, hopefully, and then we unscuff everything again. Oh yeah, I can get 10k myself, actually. Didn't think about that. Wait, you start with 5k as well, so everybody starts with 15k, basically. Okay. Well, we just need 25. Okay, 22 agility. All right, there we go. 25 agility is the first part of the plan and everything is still scuffed and I still cannot log in on Runelight, but that's a part of RuneScape experience. So now my first goal is going to be to complete Gnome Stronghold, but in order for me to do that, I want to organize my inventory a little bit. So we're gonna go here to the bank booth, deposit everything, already decide which sigil uh, we're gonna go with. So we have a Ranger, Fighter and Mage. I do believe Fighter is the one I am going to go with. Can my guy go through the door? Bid! Oh my, there we go. Oh, now it's lagging, but we're gonna go to Ardi instead. So we can continue this later in Yanil. The next step is Hazelmere, right? Now we are moving to Ardon. We started the Grand Tree quest. We are getting six logs as we're going and we're slowly making our way to Ardi. And now we're actually playing on Runelight. So everything is starting to take shape, finally. Okay, so here we are buying ball of wool and a rope. Most importantly, a rope and ball of wool. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna do this quest. This quest we're gonna do in full. Three known village. Wait, you got Sigil of Stamina on Starter Pack? The fuck? How? Wait, did they do that the Warrior's Guild is safe zone right now? That's kind of insane, not gonna lie. Okay, let's take a look. So this guy can slap me hard. So he's at a bit of a distance. Can he slap me twice? I'm gonna risk it. Okay, I panicate there, but that's good. That's the first one. First dangerous part, save. We only ate two tunas, we're relaxing so far. Could maybe level a, a little bit of a range on those level one guys, just to have a bit of HP, but I guess it's fine. I just need to be careful. I'm gonna eat one. That's okay, we can eat one. I'm gonna make sure I pay attention to it, so he doesn't randomly start running at me, but I think we have him safe spotted. We can finish off the kill and then finish off the quest. That's the hard part, because he can basically kill you. Okay, it's a long fight, but we're getting decent stats out of it, so we'll take it. There it is, the boss is defeated, the orbs are obtained. We're also gonna take the bones. Don't skim out on the bones, they give decent XP. And we're making our way back and finishing the quest, nice. You dropped your runes to get new ones, someone picked up all your shit, wait. Is it insta spawn? There's no chance, man. There is no way it's insta spawn. I think in deadman mode it might be insta spawn. There's no, there is no way. There is no way, man. There is actually no way, man. I am so sorry for you, but that's fucking hilarious. I do want to get 28 range passively, like as I'm running around the game just shooting stuff. Okay, that's gonna be the first one. I think then we're gonna go and just complete Gnome. How many casts do I have? So I've used up about 80 casts. Uh, to finish the first boss. We should be good to finish everything with just a starter pack. So there it is, a lot of attack experience, 11,000, but it gets us from 0 to 51 attack, which is absolutely ridiculous with the bonus XP rates. 20 combat, let's go ahead and find our way to right here right now. Wait, you started with Desert Treasure 1 completed and Monkey Madness completed. Wait, what? Oh, we're gaming right now. I have missed this game so much, by the way. You have no idea. So here we are. We managed to reach Diango. We're gonna trade him. We're gonna buy one Chronicle. 10 teleports for now is gonna be super healthy. And we can now teleport straight to safe zone, basically, which is always needed in Deadman mode. That's like a top priority. You should always secure yourself. Uh, Gnome Stronghold. Let's go. The chest is locked. But I have the key. Hello? Use? Search. There we go. We gotta be careful on this part, equip our staff, defensive, no auto retaliate, run on. We can get one banged here, let's not do that. This is a scary part most of the times. Can't attack that guy, I think mine is gonna be all the way this one in the back. I might need to kill it from here, and hopefully I don't get turned and hit. But we're getting HP levels, defense level, magic levels, like we're chilling. There it is, the big black demon is now defeated and now we can complete the quest, beautiful, no problem so far, up to 19 HP, defense went to 13, magic went to 32, 
completely chilling. Let's see the combat, 24 to 27. We got so much experience. We're now 60 attack already, by the way. We can already wear a dragon. That is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, we're closing in on the end of this quest. So we need to be a little bit careful here. A lot of stuff can hit us pretty hard. That's the key. We survived and now we just finished the quest, nice and easy. Let's see the big XP drop. Oof, 53 strength already of the bat, up to 46 combat. That is absolutely craziness. Okay, we're gonna quickly get to 51 combat and get up a bracket now. Uh, and I'm just gonna do that by training defense on some frogs. And then we're gonna be completing Monkey Madness 1. It's gonna be phenomenal. Let's get into it. Okay, there we go. We are now too high of a combat level to stay in this combat bracket. Therefore, we're gonna have to move up into the next bracket. We're gonna go to a German world, that's perfect. And now, the scary but not so scary part begins. First thing, I'm gonna get myself more teleports because teleports are always needed in this game. Uh, we also got a quest lamp, apparently. Full completion of the Fremenic or full completion of the Elf, partial completion. And I did a little bit of research and Elf is great, but I don't mind actually questing it later. But I'm actually going to go and complete the Fremenic storyline. Let's utilize this protection as much as possible. We're going all the way to the Wilderness Altar right now. It's a bit of a stretch, but we have 60 minutes of protection so we can go up, use all the bones, come all the way back down. All right, here we are. We got the bones we got the protection took me nine minutes to get up here let's see what prayer we get to that is 15 already oh this is gonna be fast that's 29 we're gonna use all these bones up to 43 we can pray protect from melee and this is all extras right here i don't want to accidentally bury one i don't know if i have a plugin that reminds me that's why i'm doing this so slow usually i would do it much faster do we save it that's one that's two that's three that's four that's five? Hey, there it is. 50 prayer out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. Nice. I think this is the best start I've ever had to Deadman mode. I mean, looking at these stats, we are what? One hour in. One hour, 30 minutes in. I'm about to start Monkey Madness. I have prayer completed. Money for the Dragon Scimitar. 50 minutes to complete Monkey Madness. The only downside is I don't have stamina. And stamina would make this quest super fast. But we are doing phenomenally so far. Okay, we take those. And let's go to the king. So I'll need gold ball, bar, ball of wool, some bananas and the monkey corpse that we get. I guess I'll take this with me and then just food. Do I have any? Okay, I have a bit of cakes. Not a lot of food though. No way I got onyx ball tips. There is no way. This is where I need to get the monkey bone, right? You got archaic emblem. Uh, you can trade this in Edgeville and get like supplies. It's really good. Little puzzle, please be a helper. Oh my god, we have a helper, we're chilling. There we go, puzzle done. Okay, 37 minutes. We are still pretty low on the HP department though. No shot. What? How did we mess this one up? Oh my god. That was so sad, they both got again. I made it though, I made it, we good. There's no shot they both got caught. They did something to that quest on God. I don't know what the fuck they did, but we're in, we're through. We're through and we're gaming. Probably gonna quickly recharge my prey. What would be the fastest way to do that? I guess just up here. 28 minutes should be enough to finish the quest and get this in me safely. Doing this on 20 HP is a bit scary, not gonna lie. I think it's this part that I probably just wanna pray and just run, no flicking. Okay, looks like I have enough prayer bonus to where I could almost spray the whole thing through this, which is amazing. It's gonna get close though, 20 minutes. If somebody wants to go rogue, it could be really scary. Teleport out to prepare to make the amulet good. Okay, we're, we're cutting it close with the time here. So I'm trying to get everything done as fast as I can right now. I would hate to lose my immunity before I finish the quest. I don't know if I can finish it in 15 minutes though. I will try my best. I'm stressing right now because this is the most sketchy part of the whole run. If I go through this, I'm chilling. Ah, oh, really? I had one more dialogue. All right, no, I got it. There we go, we can now be a monkey. That's huge. This can help us so much. And now everything is dangerous. There's no more protections, nothing like that. Yeah, we just have to go to Ardi Zoo. <laughs> the tribesman poked you with a spear and you died from poison. <laughs> oh, there is no way, brother, man. All I'm gonna say is if, if, I, if I get killed in this part of the quest, we're going back to New World. That, that's all I'm gonna say. This is the worst feeling, is if I were to die here, I would probably just wanna quit. 
I, and I feel a lot of people would be the same because this is just an entire what hour and a bit leading up to this and then if you get like fucked here it's just like um bad RNG magnet oh he got kicked by the gorilla that's crazy <laughs> he got kicked bro <laughs> did you see that he got yeeted poor guy but can I just give the monkey in then I don't I'm not afraid anymore there's the monkey yeah I don't know how much a prayer pot would be actually it's a good good question but make sure the prayer is on before you click to teleport into this because you can literally get one hit before you can even put the prayer on. Oh, there we go, there's the boss. Didn't get melee, which is good. Let the little dudes do a little bit of work here. Usually I get the Dorgish and Crossbow. I get 28 range and just do it with a Dorg Sibo. The animations are so clunky on this guy, by the way. A misclick here is death. I hate this game. How is that melee range? Can someone explain? How do I even get back there? I think I'm going back to deadman mode. That was not even melee range, that's so sad. Like I don't have monkey, like how do I even do this now? Can I go into the dead and claim my items there? Please tell me I can do that. If my quest items are not in death's coffer, I probably just quit. This is so sad. Please tell me I can claim at least my quest items, like... Okay. I lost my... what did I lose? We're okay. We're alright. Fuck it dude, I'm not failing again. <laughs> I, I have prayer potions, I don't need to do all of this shit. I'm okay. This will hit, we're fine. I have the sigil, I get teleported out after fight anyway, so nobody can necessarily attack me. Watch him melee me, like immediately off the bat. Okay, I didn't get melee off the bat at least. Just keep your distance? Yeah, I will. I, the problem was I was running out of prayer. And I know that I'm probably gonna hit him with melee harder. And if I just flinch, it would be better. Making friends. <clears throat> and now if the little minions kill it, I don't get a kill by the way. So it's 3 HP and it can heal HP if I don't hit here. It's 1 HP. If I miss, it's gonna heal full HP. I'm really about to break something. There we go, we hit it, please. I hit a one. You cannot make this up, I hit a one, bro. <sighs> Dude, I don't know, man. What is this game? There's a hit. I think I got it. Please, dear God. I. Okay, I think I got it. Now what? Return to King Narnode. Let's get it. Even if I get killed, sure, I lose 100k, but we did the most annoying thing in the game. It took... <laughs> Let's not talk about how long this took us. It wasn't nice. Oh, there it is. Monkey Madness is completed, boys. Huge. 10k coins, a little bit of diamonds. Let's go claim the experience reward as well. Training program, and we just go strength and hit points, right? Focus on strength and stamina or attack and defense. Strength and stamina. Oh, there it is. Dude, I hate this part of every Deadman mode, man. And the fact that I died was like, oof. Oi, look at the XP drops. 62 HP and all of a sudden we are completely chilling 79 combat so I think we go up a combat bracket fast here uh, but now the last hard thing to do is to actually go and purchase a dragon scimitar for us you should play on a deadman world that suits your combat bracket oh wait that's even better I can go up a bracket wait that's even better actually I can go up a bracket and collect it safely I don't need to risk it Oh, that's good. There we go. 71 to 90 combat. Switch world. There is 20 Europeans faster than me. I mean, obviously, right? Oh, but this is so good. That means I cannot die. Oh, that is good. That is great. Nice. Full completion of the gnome storyline up to Monkey Madness 2. Or partially completed up to Desert Treasure. Definitely taking Monkey Madness 2. And for the next, I will try to have some chins so I can also train up a little bit more. I have monkey speak amulet and I have the Karam Jangurigri, we're okay. Here we are, finally, our safety. We speak to, where is it? Daga? Fuck me sideways, there's no dragon scimitar in stock. <laughs> Maybe I go to a different world? 71 to 90, dead man. Surely this world is the lucky world, right? Surely, there it is. Dragon Simi. I think I paid 110k for it. But that's that's where it all begins. That's where the Deadman mode starts. And uh, I'm a very happy boy. And let's go straight into... Guild, start working on defenders. What are we gonna train first? We're gonna train three defensive levels and then just straight up strength. How much are prayer? 
2k. We're gonna get a few of those as well. Dude, I'm so excited. This is where I actually start enjoying uh, the game. Uh, Birthrop, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see where the safe spot is. So this is still... Wait, this is protection. Oh no. I don't know where the safety starts. It's just going in. Aha! Uh -huh. The whole guild as you enter it is safe. I kind of enjoyed it being risky. It looks like we have the first 100 tokens. Let's see if we can get any defenders with this. I mean, it's safe zone, so I could literally just do this with full inventory of prayer potions. Okay, we got some demons in here. Let's pot up. And as every deadman mode, I'm gonna be updating everybody how my stats are as I'm getting defenders. So right now we're starting with very questionable stats. And we're gonna see where we go with each defender. Oh, I get double as well. Dude, I think this will be self-sufficient for prayer pots, I think. It's so weird this not being dangerous though. Every deadman mode so far, this was like dangerous. I don't think I'll be flicking. I think this is gonna be much more friendly deadman mode. I remember the early deadman modes where I would need to like flick perma, but these are not expensive 2k per. Oh, there it is. There's the first one. Bronze Defender. And I didn't have the pop-up for this, uh, but there it is. The very first one. Uh, the stats, 68 attack, 67 strength, 57 defense. Not bad. But the best part is I think PKers are gonna stay like lower brackets. So I can like really speedrun to high combat and then just chill in the high brackets. You forgot monkey bones for monkey madness one? <laughs> There's no way. You're having a rough Christmas, Luberini. Oh, Iron Defender. Let's go. There it is. Beautiful. Stat update. 68 attack, 68 strength, 57 defense, 64 HP. I'm just training strength for now and I'll train defense when I'm on the last room. There it is. Big steel defender. We take those. Nice. Uh, up to 69 strength, nothing else really changed. Oh yes, Black Defender, huge. Okay, so 70 strength, that's the upgrade. We keep it going. It's pretty fast, not gonna lie. I still have protection and we're already on the Black Defender. So drop rate definitely increased. You dropped your axe and you can't do drink no village. Bro, people mess everything up, man. How much do these guys hit if I don't pray? I wanna see. Because later, maybe it's worth to just pray piety, maybe. Oh my god, Mithril. Dude, we're so fast today. Didn't even get a level, by the way, since the last defender, so we take those. The reason why I'm picking all these loots up is because it adds up. Yes, let's go. Adam and defender obtained. We are up to 71 strength. This one took just a little bit longer, but still extremely fast. Kind of wish I had some money. So I think my best bet is to sell my grimy stuff. Because that will sell, because Herb guys want, want this. Oh my, look at this demon. With the D-Mace. In the past I would uh, get Archaic Emblems from the below, right? And then I would just have like Bruise and Restores instantly. But it's not gonna be this easy now. There it is. Rune Defender obtained. Let's get uh, the Dragon Defender and get out of here. So now we're gonna start training defense. Make sure we reach 60. The stats are 72 strength. Pretty good. Actually, I'll do strength till 73. And hopefully we can get some good drops here. I know this is now safe zone, so I can't get sigils and I can't get like anything insane. But I would like to get defender quickly so we can move on to slayer already, basically. Hey, there we go. 60 defense. We're going back to strength for now. And then we're going to finish it off with attack once I want to move up a combat bracket. Oh, yes. Oh my god, I just came back. Let's go. Dragon defender obtained. 85 combat. It's looking good. It's looking beautiful. And we are 75 strength, 68 attack, 60 defense. I think I can go to Neven, already start slaying, so this is really good. Now I do need to start organizing my inventory a little bit better, because I can get PK'd wherever I go, so we need to be a bit smarter. I don't have a lot of money to work with, so we'll see where we go. Not strong enough to be taught by me. Oh, okay, so let's do the shit tasks first then, my bad. I guess when I go into the next bracket, I'll probably try to have enough money for a Nezi and gloves from RFD. Okay, first task done. Beautiful. Am I level 85? No. I'm gonna get one defense level just here on these random mobs because I need to be level 85 to take a Slayer task from the guy I wanted to take Slayer task from. Shit, I need one more. Okay, let's just do one more task then. Unlucky. There it is, looting bag. So, looting bag on deadman mode, yeah? Super useful tool because you can basically drop anything you want in. I just need to check the options. But that's good. Uh, that's what we wanted. Let's kill some spiders and then let's begin Slayer properly. There we go. Slayer task done. 
But why is it? It takes so long to teleport. So they, they did something where you kill a mob, you can't spam teleport out. It's gonna be hard when there's gonna be people waiting to hit you. Scroll out your minimap. You're telling me you can... What? You can scroll out the minimap? Since when? I've played this game for most of my life and I never knew that was possible. Uh, let's go bird throw again. There it is, 62. We're 85 combat. We can go back to strength. That's perfect. And now I can actually take my fifth task from Steve and hope we get a good one. Okay, here it is. The most important part of the account of the day one. Let's take a look. Wait, don't include the have a good one. Don't include that and we're good.